All right, guys, so today I will show you how to set up a smart action to realize rapid fire. And I will of course also show you how you can adjust the rapid fire speed so you can find the perfect value for your weapon. Now the video consists out of two parts. In the first half I will show you how to set up a simple smart action for rapid fire and what you must do to change its fire rate. And in the second half I will show you how to place a normal fire mode and the rapid fire mode on the same trigger. So on a light trigger press you will be able to shoot like normal and when you fully press the trigger you will activate rapid fire. In my opinion this is the best way to use rapid fire because it gives you the best possible control over when you want to use it. Now the first step is to go into your button bindings and remove the right trigger binding. If you keep this binding then your rapid fire may not work. Next let's bind the rapid fire to a hair trigger. So create a new binding by scrolling down to the bottom of the button list. Click on the plus button to add a new binding. After that pick the right trigger position. At the top you must now move the slider to the left side until the value shows 1%. After that select the right trigger action. The hair trigger setup is now complete. Next let's add the rapid fire. Click on the smart action manager at the bottom of the screen. What you must do now is to add a weight action, a right trigger action and at last a second weight action. Now highlight the second right trigger and move its slider to the left side. At last you can adjust the fire rate by changing the weight actions. For the fastest fire rate use a value of 10 milliseconds for both weight actions. To boost the consistency of your rapid fire I recommend to always use the same delay values for both weight actions. So what the smart action will do now is to press and release the right trigger over the course of 20 milliseconds. Your rapid fire is now complete. Now whenever you press your right trigger you will automatically activate your rapid fire. But depending on the game you want to play this can cause minor problems. The reason is that a lot of automatic weapons will struggle with rapid fire. You will basically lower your fire rate when using rapid fire. Here you have an example clip. First I will shoot this automatic weapon without rapid fire. And now I will use our new smart action. As you can see the weapon is shooting a lot slower when I activate rapid fire. But when I switch to my pistol, which is a semi-automatic weapon, the rapid fire is working perfectly. So what I want to show you in the next part of the video is how you can set up the right trigger to cover both cases. So on a light trigger press your controller trigger will work like a normal hair trigger. That will allow you to shoot automatic weapons at their full fire rate. And when you fully press the trigger your nexus will activate the rapid fire. So depending on what kind of weapon you are using you will always be able to use the perfect fire mode. So let's realize the advanced rapid fire setup. First you must move the slider at the top to the right side. You can of course use any other value as well but for this tutorial I will bind the rapid fire to a full trigger press. Now close this menu and create a new binding by clicking on the plus button. Select the right trigger position and change the slider at the top to 1%. Once that is done you can select the right trigger action. Next you can open the smart action manager and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Click on the binding button to add a group to this action. As you can see this binding now belongs to the first group. Now close this binding again and create a second one. 
Again select the right trigger position. What we must do now is to handle the group activation. First move the slider at the top to the left side. After that enter the Smart Action Manager and change the activation type to on press. Now scroll down again and select the Enable Group button. This will activate your Hair Trigger group. Next you can click on the Copy button at the bottom and exit this menu. Again create a new binding, but this time click on the Paste button at the bottom of the screen. Now change the slider at the top to 99%. After that go into the Smart Action Manager and delete the group activation. Once that is done select the button that will deactivate your group. Again you can close this menu, create a new binding and click on the Paste button. First you should move the slider at the top to the right side. Next go into the Smart Action Manager and change the activation type to on release. That is already it, your setup is now complete. When I leave this menu now and scroll up again you can see our setup. When I start to press my right trigger you can see that the hair trigger gets activated. And on a full trigger press it will of course be deactivated and only the rapid fire solution is running. Now the moment I release the trigger the rapid fire will stop and the hair trigger will be activated again. This allows me to cycle between these two fire modes. Now here's a short clip to show you how this will look like in the game. Depending on what kind of weapon you are using, automatic or semi-automatic, you can now choose which fire mode you want to use. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus we also have a nice little discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.